in today's increasingly digital world where we rely heavily on internet and online activities. The risk of hacking is ever present. With a cyber crime escalating, there is a growing demand for ethical hackers to counter these threats. The Certified Ethical Hacker exam serves as a gateway for individuals seeking to embark on career in professional ethical hacking. Hey everyone, I am Priya from Edureka, welcoming you all to this session of CEH V12 exam preparation. Before we begin, please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel and hit the bell icon to stay updated on latest tech content by Edureka. Also, visit the Edureka website for training and certification courses. The link is in the description box below. First, we will understand the exam pattern. There are two exam formats available for CEH V12 certification. First one is the multiple choice question exam and second one is practical exam. The MCQ exam takes 4 hours and has 125 questions. On other hand, the practical exam continues for 6 hours and has 20 questions. The purpose of both tasks is to evaluate a candidate ability in a variety of ethical hacking topics such as system hacking, network security, and vulnerability assessment. The MCQ exam is administrated via ECC exam or VUE platforms. And also, passing score of 60% to 80% are required for candidates. On other hand, passing the practical exams, which takes place in iLab cyber range, calls for a score of 70%. Candidates preparing to pursue the Certified Ethical Hacker V12 certification path have to understand the distinguishes and requirement of exam format. Now, we will understand the phases of Certified Ethical Hackers V12 exam. These are the actual topics that students need to cover in order to attend the Certified Ethical Hackers V12 exam, as listed on the official EC Council website. In Phase 1, Vulnerability Assessment, we have footprinting and reconnaissance, scanning, enumeration, and vulnerability analysis. And in second phase, gaining access, we have system hacking, malware threats, sniffing, social engineering, denial of service. And in phase 3, perimeter and web exploitation, we have session hijacking, evading ideas, firewalls, honeypots, hacking. After that, we have web servers, Moving forward, we have hacking web applications and finally, SQL injection. And in phase 4, mobile, IoT, OT and exploitation, we have hacking wireless networks and then hacking mobile platforms. After that, we have IoT hacking, OT hacking, cloud computing and finally, cryptography. A wide range of cybersecurity and ethical hacking related topics are covered in this Certified Ethical Hackers exam modules. Let's understand these modules in detail. First one is Introduction to Ethical Hacking. This module provides a thorough introduction to a principles of ethical hacking, including information security measures, applicable laws, and customary practices. Next one we have Footprinting and Reconnaissance. From this module, you can pick up advanced methods and resources for obtaining data about intended networks or systems, a necessary skill for successful ethical hacking. And then we have scanning networks. This module will show you how to identify live hosts, open ports, and services that are operating on target systems by explaining different network scanning techniques and their countermeasures. Next one is enumeration. This module will teach you how to effectively defend against enumeration attacks and extract useful information from target systems using a variety of enumeration techniques. After that, we have Vulnerability Analysis. This module uses a various vulnerability assessment tools and techniques to assist you in finding security gaps in the network and systems of targeted organizations. And in Phase 2, we have System Hacking. This module covers methods such as password cracking and privilege escalation that can be used to obtain unauthorized access to target systems. Moving forward, we have Malware Threats. This module examines a various malware kinds 
and their defenses, giving you a knowledge you need to successfully guard against malware infections. After that, sniffing. You can securely intercept and examine network traffic by learning about packet sniffing techniques and their countermeasures in this module. Next, we have social engineering. This module will teach you the concepts and methods for social engineering as well as practical ways to reduce the risk associated with the social engineering. Next one, denial of service. This module helps you effectively prevent and mitigate denial of service attacks by covering a variety of denial of service and DDoS attack techniques and their countermeasures. And in phase 3, we have session hijacking. This module will teach you about the methods used to hijack sessions and the corresponding defenses against such attempts. Moving forward, we have evading firewalls, honeypots, and IDS. This module covers ways to bolster network defenses and get around intrusion detection systems, firewalls, and honeypots. Next, we have hacking web servers. This module will teach you how to effectively secure your web servers as well as how to take advantages of security flaws in web server infrastructure. Next one is hacking web applications. To ensure the security of web-based systems, this module looks at common vulnerability in web applications and remediation strategies. After this one, SQL injection. This module teaches you how to effectively prevent SQL injection attacks as well as how to take advantages of SQL injection vulnerabilities in web applications. Moving forward, in phase 4, we have hacking wireless networks. This module examines security risks and weaknesses related to wireless networks as well as practical methods for protecting Wi Fi networks. Next one is hacking mobile platforms. This module will teach you how to protect your mobile devices and apps from the attacks as well as security risks that are present in mobile platforms. After that, IoT and OT hacking. This module looks at ways to properly secure IoT and OT environments as well as security issues brought up by IoT and OT devices. Moving forward, we have cloud computing. This module will teach you about cloud computing security concerns and practical ways to improve cloud security. And the last one, cryptography. This module examines ways to protect against cryptographic attacks as well as encryption algorithms, tools, and strategies for data and communication security. Now, let's understand what all study materials required for this exam. First one, we have to go for official courseware, which means EC Council offers resources, online laboratories, and textbooks designed specifically for this exam. Next one, books. Select a reputed books written by experts on ethical hacking and preparing for Certified Ethical Hacker Exam and then Internet Resources. For courses focused on Certified Ethical Hackers, make a use of sites like YouTube or Edureka or else Google Resources. And the last one is Practice Exams. Use Practice Exams to evaluate your knowledge and areas of concentration in order to properly prepare. Now, let's understand what all hands-on experience should be covered by the candidates. First one. Virtual lab setup to establish a controlled environment and use VMware or virtual box. Next one, install operating system. Configure different operating systems in virtual machines. And then we have practice tools. Candidates has to learn hacking techniques using programs like Yenmap, Metasploit, Wireshark and Burpsuit. Moving forward, investigate vulnerabilities. Try out purposefully weak platforms and systems such as Bullhub and then complete with tutorials. To strengthen your skills, participate in online tutorials and CTF games. Moving forward, we have record learning. Maintain a record of your actions and results for future references. After that, be moral. Make sure that everything you do is morally and legally right. And next one is tool familiarity. Before engaging in ethical hacking activities, it's important to familiarize yourself with commonly used tools. Here are some tools and their functionalities. First one is Nmap. With its sophisticated discovery techniques, scripting capabilities, and accurate host and service discovery, 
This tool helps with understanding network topology and services. And next one is Investigate Wireshark. With the help of Wireshark, you will be able to precisely understand network communication through a use of powerful packet analysis and protocol dissecting tools for comprehensive network traffic monitoring and troubleshooting. Next one, Metasploit. This framework with a vast repository of exploit modules and payloads offers a practical experience in simulating real-world attacks, exploiting vulnerabilities and validating security postures. Moving forward, we have Nessus. By utilizing its extensive vulnerability database, adaptable scanning policies, and thorough reporting features, Nessus improves the knowledge of system vulnerabilities and security issues. And the last one, Burp Suit. With a Burp Suit, you can become an expert in web application security testing, which includes detecting vulnerabilities, intercepting HTTP requests, and carrying out automated and manual penetration tests. Now, let's understand tips to study for this Certified Ethical Hackers B12 exam. To maximize your chances of success on the Certified Ethical Hackers B12 certification exam, follow these steps. First one, review and revise key concepts and topics thoroughly using study materials like flashcards and mind maps. Next one, Manage your time effectively by answering questions within the allocated time and mark challenging questions for review and move on easier ones. Next one, read questions carefully paying attentions to keywords like not or except to understand their meanings. Eliminate incorrect options and analyze remaining choice to make informed choices. Next one, prioritize questions that align with your strength and areas of expertise. Tackling questions you are most comfortable with first. This strategy maximizes your chances of earning points early on and building confidence as you progress through the exam. And the last one, stay calm and confident throughout the exam process, taking deep breaths, staying focused and trusting in your knowledge and skills. Remember that you have put into an effort and well prepared to tackle the exam successfully. With this, we have come to the end of this session. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching and keep learning. I hope you have enjoyed listening to this video. Please be kind enough to like it and you can comment any of your doubts and queries and we will reply them at the earliest. Do look out for more videos in our playlist and subscribe to Edureka channel to learn more. Happy learning!